Okay guys, Luke P here. Um, today we're going to be looking at um, a website called Splatter Free Graphics Editor. So, um, what this basically does is um, <coughs> allow you to make graphics of your own. Um, just by these pixels you see here. Um, you can actually change the resolution to 20 by 20, 40 by 40, or 60 by 60. So we're going to choose this last one because it gives you a lot more, obviously. Um, and I think once you um, create your sprite or whatever, you can use it in um, a custom game, kind of, like one of your own video games. Um, so, but anyways, today I'm just going to give you kind of like a tutorial of this, how it works, because, um, I'm sure some of you haven't heard of this before, um, so, let's see, um, over here is just your pencil um, you can draw anything with it pretty much um, just like small lines over here is a paintbrush um, where you have let's see I think that's five pixels um, you see it's much thicker um, and then you get to fill in areas with um, the third block um, the fourth block is an eraser um, with just a thin line. Um, the fifth block is a hand. Um, let's see. Oh, you get to move all this around, you see. Um, and then you have a cursor for like how big square you want to choose, and then press the hand to move that specific area around. And the final block is. Um, kind of like a color picker um, where you just like here's red then it turns into red here's white it turns into white so yeah all these are very useful um, be sure to use all of them because I didn't really know about these at first because I didn't really pay attention to them but yeah it'll help you out a lot and down here is just simple drawing um, in different settings. Like this is mirrored. You get to hold on. Wait, what is happening? Let's just start a new one. Okay, there we go. It's mirrored like this. Um, checkered. Yeah, you can draw like checkers. Um, and then these are just different shadings. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let me move this camera a little bit. Um, over here is just the settings for colors. There's a lot that goes into this, so, um, yeah, I think you have the basic idea. So, let's go ahead and start drawing something. We'll just start with um, a simple circle, I guess. Um, so what you want to do is if you want to make one that's, I guess, medium size, um, let's see, I have four pixels up here, um, and add two more on the bottom layer. Of course, that are next to these center ones and um, you kind of want to draw a small square over here in the corner and then just mirror that top for all four sides and then fill that in um, that's a basic circle for you um, of course for a square you just do that same thing, but with sharper edges. Um, and 
for a triangle, um, take these squares and diagonal here, and it looks like a slant, kind of. So, those are the three basic shapes for you, I guess. And, let me give you, um, most of the time, this website is used for, um, <coughs> you know, drawing characters and stuff. So, let me give you, um, a more accurate example, um, let's see. We're going to try to draw Sonic. I probably won't do it very well, but, um, that's just a basic character to draw. Um, we'll just have it on normal drawing. Um, let's see. I guess I'll start with five pixels right here. Okay, we finished the first spike. I think the second one is like a little longer. And bigger. And then... Actually, wait. We don't want to make him, like, too tall. Um, this is probably going to look weird. don't want to make them too long either, so... Hmm. We can try like this. See, getting the configurations is hard for me. Um... Let's see, does that look okay? Um... Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think it, I think it's good. I mean, that's good for first try. Actually, I've tried to make Sonic before, but it wasn't very good. Anyways, this is our first recorded attempt. Um. Then we have the eyes. Um. He has really big eyes. Um, we'll just make him black, because, you know, whatever. Also, it can take a really long time to make these which is kind of annoying but you know great things take time <laughs> not that this is going to be too great but
so we'll make um, this blue a little darker now because we want to make this ear behind here um, and we need to add a mouth Um, and you know, if you just wanted to draw it cartoon-like, that's all you have to do, really. Um, but if you want it more realistic with shading, you need to add a brighter shine to the nose. Hold on, I just messed up like a weirdo. Okay, there we go. Um... See, let's add a little bit of shading to the eye. Um, <clears throat> a little bit to the muzzle. Um, a little bit to the ear. Um, and we'll use this shit this same darker blue for the shading on his actual face. And we'll also add a lighter blue for kind of like a light ref light reflection. Sorry about that. Um, so you can see the light is coming from that way, kind of. Set a little bit here. And there you have it basically. Um, that's just a basic basic sonic sprite. Um,